Hey guys, welcome back to Dexter Ranch. Uh, it's about 17-ish degrees out here today. I'm going to do a little experiment that could be helpful for you if you've been considering installing a mini split into your 30 by 40 pole barn or metal building. Now my metal building has been spray foam insulated so that'll play a pretty big factor in this experiment but what I'm going to do is flip the camera around show you the system talk a little bit about it and then we'll go inside the building see what the temperature is in there with the insulation turn the system on let it run for a couple of hours and see what kind of a impact we can have on the temperature on a day like today so here's the unit guys the outside unit uh, this is a Sinville that's the brand. This is a 36,000 BTU unit. Like I said, my shop is 30 by 40 by 12 feet tall. Um, these sell on eBay is where I bought this one. These sell for about $1,800. I'll put a link below this video where you guys can go check it out. But th I think this is the biggest unit that this particular company makes is 36,000 BTU uh, but for $1,800 uh, if you consider what a uh, you can spend close to that on just a heater so that was the reason why I made the decision and you're gonna have to also consider the fact that I have a bunch of windows and a French door in my shop but <clears throat> That was the reason I made the decision to go with a mini split. Was because the price was close to what just a heater for one of these shops would cost. So, if you can get air conditioning and heating for almost the same money, uh, I decided to go with it. Alright, so there's the inside unit. I'm going to turn it on. Now this will show you kind of what the uh, insulation will do right here. It's 40 degrees inside. Big difference. Big, big difference. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. They have a, a mode called follow me here. And when I put that on follow me, then it's basically going to, wherever the remote is, it's going to try to get it up to that 78 degrees on here. Just to show you guys that this, these thermometers or the temperature, I'm telling you, this is just a meat thermometer. It's the only other thing I have. But it's showing 18 degrees outside. We'll go in here. See if it comes back up. So probably around 37, somewhere between 37 and 40 in in the shop. Uh, so let's give it a couple hours, like I said, and and we'll see how much. Oh, there it went 39. So yeah, pretty close. Uh, let's give it a couple hours and see how much, how many degrees we can get it up inside this room with the 36,000 BTU mini split. Alright guys, it's been one hour. We'll come back in two hours again, but let's see what we got after one hour. One hour we went from 40 to 52. We went 12 degrees in one hour. We uh, hit the two hour mark. We were at 40 degrees to start with. At the one hour mark, we were at 52 and we're about to see. So not as much, we didn't get 12 more degrees, but 61 degrees in two hours. So uh, 21 degree difference in uh, two hours in a 30, 30 by 40 insulated shop. One thing to note is that I did have somebody install this for me after I bought it on eBay. I did the framing that's around it there. 
but I, I paid a local company to come out and hang it on the wall and run the hoses through the wall and everything. Uh, I mean, it was in the box basically when they got here and they did everything for 500 bucks. So that'll give you a reference on how much it might cost you to have one installed. Uh, I didn't feel comfortable doing it myself. If you're a HVAC guy, maybe it's something that you could do. I don't know. Uh, another thing to, to note is that obviously I don't run this all the time. This is a situation where if I <clears throat> know I'm going to be out here working, I'll come out here, turn it on like an hour before or so, and, um, and then by the time I come out here to work, it'll be, it'll be nice and warm. And I haven't noticed that it raises my electric bill. I haven't ever noticed like, oh, wow, I was working out in the garage a lot that month and my electric bill was outrageous. These things are known for being really efficient. And the, the air conditioner seems to work just as well. Uh, I've had this thing for three years and I haven't had any problems out of it. And so it's something that I would recommend if uh, you're looking for an option for heating and cooling in your in your shop. Like I said, I think that you should uh, put insulation in your shop uh, if you're going to be installing one of these. Otherwise, it might be a little bit pointless because it's not going to be able to keep up with drafts or just having metal walls. So uh, hopefully this little bit of information has helped you to where you can finalize your decision if it's something you're thinking about. And uh, if it if it was helpful to you, then uh, hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to Dexter Ranch. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.